Hello, uh, with today's tutorial, I wanted to show you because I had a, a request it's from 14 the hours. Facebook, um, a tutorial about how to embed a 23mm uh, Swarovski triangle. So, first of all, sorry, the one I'm using is quite um, ruined. The back uh, went away after wearing it the second time. So. I would suggest buying some color that is not too dark or too delicate because it's very easy to to ruin it unfortunately. So or maybe maybe pass a coating on the back before wearing it. Uh, I think I saw a tutorial from a friend showing she just put some transparent nail polish on the back. So again, first of all Sorry, but it's uh, just for tutorial um, use, so I hope it gives you an idea how it works. If you're interested, please follow. So, in order to create, we will need Delica 11O, CB's 15O, and the thread, of course. Fine line is fine, um, but you can use any you like. I'm using the Yuki one. And then, of course, uh, our um, Swarovski 23mm triangle a needle, and we can start. So, first of all, I need to start with 60 Delica 11O and close in the circle. Um, a tip that can be useful if you need to work on triangle in other dimensions, in other sizes, there are two basic rules. The first one is that the number always has to be um, even, never odd, um, so that it's possible to create a peyote uh, matching. If, uh, because the triangle is got three triangle, the, the number has to be, uh, has to be uh, divisible mm -hmm. by three. So in this case, um, in this case, 60. Uh, so it will be in this case, uh, dividing it by three. So this is a little, just a little advice. Now, let's pass to the technique for uh, embedding our um, triangle. Okay. After you've done this circle with 60, 60 delicates, just go with a simple peyote star uh, circle with a 11 -up. That's the one. So, after the first peyote uh, round with 11 0, so remember that that's another tip. When you um, put the beads on your needle to start working, your first circle is already two peyote round. So, once you do the first peyote round, the very first, the actual, there will, there will be already three, um, three rounds. So, let me try and zoom. I think I already explained this in a different video, but let me know if you don't understand. So you will have one, two, and three rounds. You can count like that. Or you can do the total of one line and the one on the low, on the low. I usually count in this way when I have little, little delicates. Or you can count vertically when you have many, many rounds. But in this case, so in vertical, you count two columns in a row. In uh, diagonal, it's just the way I'm, I'm using now. So we have three rounds, like if there were three peyote. So we stop with delica and proceed a new round with seed beads uh, 15 on. So we do the work and we will find at the end of the round. So this is the first round with uh, seed beads 15 on. And you will say, Marke, this is just a normal uh, embedding for a normal combination, which is the difference. It will come just now. So if you count, we have added 30 seed beads, this golden one. 
So, because in the beginning we had a 16, and then we said 60, 60 is like a double round. When we did the first Archipiote round, we added 30 Delica. So, obviously, in the next round, nothing changed, so we will have 30 seed beads in golden. So, at this stage, we will need to set uh, the embedding uh, so that it adapts for the triangle shape, which has three sides. So, we need to kind of mold it <laughs> on that shape. So, if we said we have 30, um, 30 beads, 30 divided 3 is 10. So, we will need to go with another round of, uh, of seed beads, 15, but jump three, three of the seed beads in the, you know, ma that matches the, 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 the three sides. So, the next round is going to be 27, no more 30. So basically, we skip three seed beads. 27 divided 3 will be 9. So again, we will add 9 15 on seed beads, jump 1 space, add 9, jump, skip 1, skip, skip one space and continue. So then you do the whole uh, round, but we skip one rocaille, one uh, seed bead corresponding to each corner. I'm not sure it's clear, but let's uh, let's try and do it. So I'll do this round, and I'll explain again after doing it. Maybe if you're following this tutorial as you're working, stop a second, uh, watch this, uh, watch this, and then we'll look back. So as you can see, it starts taking the shape of a triangle. So. I've done, I've done the second round with the seed bit. I've jumped that corner, I went underneath, I went below. I went up again, I added nine, then another corner, skipped one, and continued. Now, I need to do the last round, which is closing the, um, the final, and then I will go on the back. Actually, this is the back, and we do the front one later. So. The front one, it will be slightly different because it will have one more round to close um, firmly. So, okay, we will add. We basically, I will add a new seed bead 15 and go in the next one in the corner even where we had left a gap before. So, like so, we have the back side of this completed. Now we will need to go with our thread on the other side and follow the same uh, rounds which we've done on this side. Um, so if you go back from the beginning of the tutorial, just follow the same. Obviously, before you do that, put your triangle in the middle. This is the back, again, I'm reminding you. So, the back of your triangle, of your cabochon, will be here, while on the other side, there will be the face of your stone. So, see you now in a moment when uh, the front part will be done. So, uh, you can see the final round to close. Um, in a suitable way, your, um, your, your work. So, as you can see, uh, I follow the same work. Obviously, I forgot to say um, where you skipped the, um, the bed, the, the bead, will be exactly the same as you've done on the back. Now, although now for the front, we need to do a last round because you can see in the corner the thread is quite visible so we don't want that that's why if we do a last round in a peyote 
this will be uh, reduced. So just a simple peyote round with the 15 or beads. That's, um, that's it. Uh, after finishing the last round, as you can see, the thread is basically disappeared after this. And um, it's a lot nicer, I <laughs> just think. So it's ready to be used like your life, a necklace or... You can also, if you also create a ring, or just have a little necklace, um, or continue the work making it bigger, just obviously up to you. The tutorial is over. I hope it was clear enough, and um, of course you already know that if you have questions, send me a message, send me a question, even a comment, per a private message.